This is Iconic Motorbikes. Welcome to the studio. We shoot a lot of really cool bikes here and we thought it might be fun to bring you along and show you how it, uh, how it gets done. So today, we're shooting this bike. The uh, MV Augusta F4 SPR. It's an interesting bike, so uh, it should be a, a fun little session. And let's get going. So when you get ready to shoot a bike, there's a few things you gotta kind of figure out right from the start. It really begins with the kind of shot you're looking to do. Uh, in this case, uh, we're trying to do something pretty dramatic. This is a, a classic design uh, done by Mr. Tamburini himself. So we wanna accentuate that. So we're gonna go for something a little more dramatic. It's a matte bike. So nice thing with that, we're not worried about reflections. I'm gonna use the dark gray backdrop, seamless. So kind of framing it up now, and then we'll pull that seamless out and get it set up. You gotta choose the side, just like people, bikes usually have a side. In this case, it's a single-sided swing arm, so that kind of dictates what side you're gonna shoot. Uh, sometimes it might be the exhaust side or um, the side that leans away from, you know, depending on the side stand. Once you've sort of chosen the side, it's sort of what, uh, whether we put it on the side stand, which can look cool because it can reflect a little bit more light, but this is a pretty sporty bike and we're trying to get that real dramatic look. So we're gonna put it on a rear stand, I think. Yeah, and then it's just the angle. And, and generally with motorcycles, you wanna be pretty low, sort of emphasizing that kind of aggressive look. And uh, yeah, so we'll sort of determine that at the end. But basically you get those things figured out and then you just, uh, you put it all together. So let's uh, start setting it up. So I'm just using the modeling lights to kind of get a sense of how the, the actual lighting setup uh, is working. Still a little worried about how this is gonna look when we start popping. Um, just, you know, they're shining a lot on the foreground that might get a little distracting or harder to sort of edit out. But most likely we're gonna be shooting a series of shots and then compositing them together to get the final image. So we'll see if we can't control for that. Um, just adds a little bit more work in post, so uh, it's looking pretty good. Just a little, a little close to the background. The SPR is a cool bike because it was supposed to be the final version of the F4 line. And the F4 was originally designed by Massimo Tamburini, who's the Michelangelo of motorcycle design. And it's just a, a really cool looking bike. It had an upgraded engine and an upgraded suspension, and it came in that cool matte black color. It also had those really sweet uh, star wheels in that, I'm not sure what the actual treatment is on it. It's kind of like a chromate or something like that. Very, you know, it, they're just nice looking. And like they eventually did one other edition after this that was the, the actual final version of the F4. But it's a cool bike, it's fun to shoot, and that's, uh, that's what makes it fun here. So, staying on it. This is a homemade V-flat. It's just made from foam core, taped together, it's high tech. You can get nice ones, but uh, this is what we had. So I'm uh, putting these out. We're going to get a little splash, a little fill back from that to light up uh, the side of the bike. And then we'll balance that out in the edit to sort of fill in the details there. So fun, fun. In a 
in a typical, uh, you know, the sort of typical reality of things, you, you always need more space. And so now I'm actually now back in the, the lobby, shooting through the doorway into the studio, just to get enough distance that I can shoot with a long enough lens that it kind of flattens out the bike. Just like with the shooting portraiture, um, the wider the lens, the more distortion there is uh, on the bike. And sometimes it's better, sometimes you want that, you want to accentuate something. But in this case, I'm looking for a very flat, very dramatic, emphasize the lines. So I've, I've moved into the lobby. <laughs> so we've shot the bike. Let's uh, jump over to the computer, transfer some footage, and uh, show you how it all comes together. I've transferred the footage, and I've taken a first pass uh, looking for the selects that I'm going to use. Probably shot 20 or 30 images, and I'm just going to use three. One that exposes for the bottom, one that exposes for the top of the bike, and one that just gets this little reflective piece on the tail. So we're going to do a first a couple of little adjustments in Lightroom, and then throw them into Photoshop and do the final composite and then back to Lightroom to finish it uh, and complete the image. So uh, here we go. So that's shooting a motorcycle from start to finish. I hope you enjoyed it. We get a lot of cool bikes here, so if you do, if you do, let us know. We'll keep shooting more of these, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.